The best area to achieve is this piece. And this piece. We need to know if the required points are blocked by separation. Now you need a hard steel ruler to stretch into the whole toaster. Stir at this time. The length to this point is 15 centimeters. We came from the original standard line. Then we take another 15 centimeters. Then use our coupling agent. Make a mark. This is the marking point we need. Start grinding. All right. This position is okay. Grinding finish. Look, the tank is 37 centimeters high. Then test the height of the liquid level in the. The liquid level is 28. Insert the sensor terminal into the hose. Next, plug in the power cord. After that, continue to plug in the power cord. In this direction, the sensor is pasted on the place bullish before. Hold it tightly at this time. At this point, you can see the value, that is, the liquid level. At this time, we can test it takes 6 seconds from one button to automatic detection. The height we just tested is 37. Click button 3 continuously for impairment. Press button 1 for 6 seconds to save. The 30 cm display at this time is calibrated. We need to set it to the level we just measured 28. It takes 6 seconds from one button to automatic action. Finally, you can see that the green light is on and the buzzer rings for a long time. Prove that this is an accurate signal area. Fix the sensor at this time. So wipe the test area clean. The contact surface of the sensor should also be wiped clean. This is our special glue. The two adhesives need to be applied evenly on the sensor surface. Then find the position of the test surface. Stick the sensor there. It's been fixed for the past 5 minutes. At the same time, we have to look at the liquid face value. If it is zero, then this point is unstable. We need to pick up some more. Now it's 254.3 but if the roar of this value exceeds 3 centimeters. For example, the current 24 centimeter, but the display is 20 centimeter. Then our value is also inaccurate. We have to re-select the test point in the area. Secure to our sensor with an iron tie. Then tighten the lock. This completes the wiring. 